Everything changes, yet everything stays the same. Okay, I'm here. What do we do now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Flip phone. Who are you? My mother? It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the fuck is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on SIRS. And I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. I promise nothing. But we will listen. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Mr. Bagley, Ms. Sabine, what's going on with this? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. Fuck off and stay that I suppose way, it does make man. sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. Problem. This place is a mess and he's not here. Looks like a fight. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. Okay, I will try. Every story medium, from television programs to novels, follows a formula. Even when they're is permitted to access data. This includes deep searches of your optic device. Refusal to provide the requested information is illegal. and cameras 
Tigers are integral to the security of London. Interrupting the That's done it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. That appears to be our contact. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. Construction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Rental police. But why not the Sir shitheads? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. Okay, funny guy. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Show it. I'm not who you think I am, man. Oh, oh. Your man, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That's, that's not me. I swear to God, please, please. Oh, that guy's dead for sure. But, but hey, that means we can fight those Albion guys and not feel bad. Bagley, send me the coordinates. Huh? <gasps> 
Something up. Gotcha. I'm taking you in. All right. Your comrade is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. What? They're in Hotel Albion, so it's up to me, right? Fine. Coming in. It's all right. I'm dead set. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. We just saved your life, dickhead. No, you've just damned us both. Look, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. No, no, no. You explain everything, mate. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right. We'll see what Bagley says about your intel. Just don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. GVB, first on the scene, first to bring you the news. I don't like him, but that don't mean we shouldn't check out his information. All right, one second. Bagley, could you look into it? If his intel looks good, schedule a briefing with everyone. Look, I don't want to step on your idea, but I don't trust this guy. We should walk away. 
That's bollocks. He needs our help. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SIRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arseholes that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Good call, sweetie. Mm, fine. Your somewhat reckless teammate has got themselves thrown in the old clink, I'm afraid. Difficult to resist oppression from behind bars. It will be a while before they're available. Pro tip, however. Why not recruit a barrister to the team? I mean, no one exactly likes a barrister, but they do have their function. They should be able to shorten the jail time of imprisoned operatives.